first what I'm going to do is grab my pen tool. I'll trace over the outline shape of the glasses frames. Then I'll come in and draw the lenses. And then I'll copy the lenses, hold them in like my clipboard, which is like my cache, right? And then once I create the compound shape out of the lenses and the frame, then I'll paste them back in place. And then I can add white to the lenses and reduce the opacity. Okay? So I'm just going to, again, just zoom in when you're working on this stuff. Also, if you have symmetrical, like if your glasses are facing or your position in the portrait is just facing you dead on, and this is symmetrical, you could just draw one half and then reflect it and then merge the two together, right? So in this example, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna draw like one half of it. And I'll also like speed this up a bit. Okay, so I've drawn the outer portion of the frame. This time I'm going to draw the interior, so where the lens is. Okay, so I'm just going to hide my reference now, and I'm just going to color it in just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so the outside frame, I'm going to fill it black, right? So see, it fills the entire object, right? And if I select the lens, right, I'll just fill that white. I'm also just going to draw a background shape just so that when I knock this shape out, you guys can actually see that there is going to be like a color difference. So I'll just toss it behind here. Okay, you don't have to draw that background shape. Okay. So once I get this one half, <clears throat> I can now reflect this. Right. So I'm going to go up to my rotate tool and just hold down and grab the reflect tool that's nested inside of it. And then remember to reflect this and also move its axis point. I'm going to just hover my cursor where I want to reflect this from and hold Option. So this is going to be in the center of the glasses. So I'll hold down Option. I'm going to click once and that brings up my Option dialog box. So I'll just select Preview. Okay. And I want to reflect it vertically. So I'm going to make a copy of it, okay? So remember, if I click OK, it's just going to reflect the original. But if I click Copy, it'll keep the original in place and make a copy of it, which is mirrored, okay? So I'll click Copy, like that. And I'll just quickly deselect. And now what I can do is just select both halves of the frame, not the lenses, right? And I could just merge them together and I could do that with my Shape Builder tool as well. Okay. So I can grab that and just click right across and drag, and then it merges those two shapes together. So now I just have one path. Right? If it's symmetrical, just draw one half, reflect it over, merge them with the Shape Builder tool. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is select the two lenses. So I don't have the frame selected, only the lenses. And I'm just going to copy them. So just do a Command-C, 
just so I hold them in my cache because I'm going to paste them in later on. Okay. So now what I can do is make these two lenses into a compound path so I can make Illustrator think these are two shapes that you should treat um, as one unit. Okay. So we can do that with a panel called our Pathfinder panel. So if you go to your window menu, and then go down to the Pathfinder, okay, this is where you can create some of your compound paths and shapes. And the first type of shape mode or Pathfinder shape mode that I have is called Unite. So I can actually combine two shapes together and make Illustrator think that they're one simple path. Okay. So with the two lenses selected, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the Unite function. And then I'm going to hold Shift and select the frame. Okay. And this is where I can make this into a compound path. Okay. There's two ways I could do this. I could just do it through my Pathfinder panel, which is to select the second shape mode, which is called minus front. So I can click on that and you'll see it just deleted the white portion and now it's transparent, right? Or I can go up to my object menu and go down to compound path and select make. And that does the exact same thing, okay? But a really simple way to create these is just through your Pathfinder panel. So first I selected both lenses, went to my Pathfinder panel, hit the unite function, then held down shift and added the frame to my selection. So the frame and the lenses are selected now. And then I can click minus front, meaning take the topmost object and minus the front object from the one underneath it. Okay. And then it creates this transparency in here. Okay. So now what I can do is paste those lenses that I copied in back right in place of where I copied it from. So I can go to the edit menu and go paste in place. So shift command V. And then I can paste them in there. Okay. Let's just put them like right at the bottom here. So I'm just going to toss them on top. And now that I have these here, I could just reduce the opacity of them. Okay, so something like that. Okay, so I'll delete the background. All right, I'm just going to select everything and I'll just move it over to my illustration here and I'll just kind of resize it a bit. So yeah, so from here, then you just start to like add in, I guess, like your details. Like I can add like the arm of the glasses in. You can also like kind of rotate it a bit if you need to. And then we can also add that same sort of glare shape to the glasses as well. So if I took, or if I selected the lenses first, create a copy of them and paste them in front. And take my ellipse tool and just kind of draw out maybe a shape like that. So again, I'm using that as sort of my cutter shape. I can grab my Shape Builder tool and delete from it. And now that copy that I created is like a highlight on the glasses, right? Okay. And then you can sort of do the same thing for the other side. Okay. 
And you can always reduce the opacity again if you need to, if it's a bit too bright, right? That's how you can go about like creating the glasses, right? So first draw the outer frame, draw the lenses, right? To do them all at once, make the lenses like a compound uh, path or use the Pathfinder tool to unite them, copy them, and then minus front so that you can knock the hole out uh, from the two objects. And then just paste in place the lenses again fill them with white and reduce the opacity. And then you can start to add in all your other details, like maybe patterns in the, the arm of the, the glasses. Um, you can add like glare effects to them as well. Okay. And then you can just start building those details over top. Okay.